the minute you stop chasing her and you finally ignore her, she's going to come crawling back to you. Or if you haven't even talked to her in the first place and she sees your value as a man and you don't care about her, she's going to want to be with you. There's a whole psychology on this on why she chooses to be with the dude that's considered the a-hole, the douchebag, the guy who doesn't treat her good, okay? There's a whole reason for this. And I'm not saying that you need to intentionally be an a-hole to people, to girls you like, no. But your attitude needs to come off as you are number one. And it's not even, don't let people shame you for feeling, you're, feeling like you're number one, bro, because you need to prioritize your life. In order to get ahead, you need to have some sort of level of confidence within yourself. Not to shame anybody or put anybody down, but you need to see yourself as the number one, you know, runner up, like you're the gold medal champion in your eyes. Okay, guys, but first things first, it's your brother, L. Alex Sells, Sells of the Game, Sells My Name, and make sure you guys do something to excel your life today to make your life easier tomorrow, okay? Now, there's this whole reason why she has probably started, you know, to hit you back up to, you know, now she, maybe the girl you used to talk to and you don't, y'all ain't cool anymore. Y'all don't really chit chat like that no more. She's going to come back to you guys. They always come back. Every single one of them. They always come back. To just give it time. Time is your ally. Okay. But I want to break down the reason what's going on in her head when you just ignore her. Okay, guys. And... When I say ignore a girl, I'm not talking like you've been blowing her up and you've been texting her nonstop and she doesn't reply to you and then you finally quit and then you're ignoring her and you don't question why she's not coming back to you, okay? Girls are only want to be with a certain kind of caliber of a man. And the minute you establish that with her, she's gonna wanna be with you, okay? The minute she sees your value as a man, like that's our weakness, guys. Our weakness when it comes to girls is we put them above us and we don't understand our own value, okay? You need to see yourself as number one in your life. The minute she feels that, and guys, girls can feel this on any guy. They, you can't fake this with girls. Like, they literally have a sixth sense for this. They have, like, you know, it's like a, a goosebump feeling when she realizes, okay, this is a dude who has his life going in the right direction. He's got things going on for him. He's confident with him, within himself. She knows that she wants to be with this kind of guy, okay? You have the ability to be this guy, but the, you need to establish your frame with her. You need to, sh I'm not saying guys go out of your way to prove to a girl that you're, you know, you're a boss, you're a player, you're, you're number one. No, 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 we don't do that. You don't ever do that. Not even with just girls, with anybody. Like you don't, you don't, as a man, you don't go out there trying to prove who you are. You need to be solidified within yourself first, okay? So the minute that a girl understands and your dominance is established with her, your hierarchy with her, you know, she's gonna understand, okay, you're a leader, you're the prize, you got things going on in your life. You're the one who can change her life for the better, not the other way around. She's infatuated with that kind of guy. So she goes ballistic and goes crazy when you don't text her back. When maybe you guys were talking but you don't, you know, you're not going out of your way to text her. You're not going out of your way to try to please her. She's wondering, why in the hell does he, does he not care? Okay, because guess what? We're living in 2024. If you're watching this video, it's 2024 when I made this. So we understand that girls are getting blown up every day in their DMs, in person, at work, at the gym, at and walking down the street anywhere you know dudes are cackling like dudes are thirsty nowadays so when she finally meets a guy that doesn't care what's going on in her head she's questioning why does he not care like what am i doing wrong because she's so used to attention she is so used to having someone kiss her ass so the second that you don't do that she's wondering why does he not care First, what first pops up in her mind is he must have other bitches. He must have other women. He must have other hoes, right? That's where you want her to. That's where you want her to think. You want her to be in this mindset of, you know, mysterious, of, of you being mysterious and she, her questioning, like, why does he not care over girls? Okay, because you need to show guys. 
literally how girls are is how you kind of need to be with dating. You know how girls are so selective and a guy has to have a, a boat and you gotta be six feet and you gotta have the six figures and all that crap. You Well, guess what? You need to establish yourself that way too, guys. You need to show girls, yo, this is me. I'm the prize. I get to choose who I want, okay? So you're not out here thirsty, okay? Because thirsty guys will pick any girl to be with and be like, oh, well, that's my girlfriend now. And she can be a 100 pound, 300 pound whale. And, you know, I don't want that for you, okay? I, I want you, I want to see you guys win. I want to see you guys be out here doing your thing, okay? So once you establish this for her and you stop chasing her and you stop, you don't blow her up like every other guy, because that's what every other guy is doing. Every other guy is blowing her up. And guys, when you ignore a girl, I want to I want to make sure you guys know this. You got to be willing to ignore her and you got to be willing to let a girl go. Like If you're not able to do that, you're not going to be able to be, have it your way in the relationship. You're not going to be able to be a leader, okay? Because a leader, a good leader, guys, can depend on someone, but at the same time, he doesn't need to depend on no one. He's good by himself because he leads his own life. He knows where his life's going. And he's not worried about what's going on with what this girl says or what this guy thinks of me. Or No, he's not worried about that. Okay, because your life is always going to go up. Their life may be stagnant. Some, most of the time, guys, their lives are going down, especially when the girls are going through their whole phases. You know, no guy wants to marry a woman who's been so promiscuous. No guy wants to marry a woman who, you know, slept with dudes in the bathroom at, at a bar or in the middle of a park. Like, they, they, they we don't want to know that, right? We don't want to know that. But girls are cool with a guy who has options. And the minute you are able to establish you have options, you're good. You're in the money. You're in the clear, okay? Now you need to display to her that you're the prize. 